Alright, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to build a Access database. I'm using Access 2010, but I'm sure it's the same for 2013, which I use at the library a lot, and um, to keep track of books that I would like to purchase. Okay, so we're going to bring up Access. We're going to create a new database. I'm going to go down here and go ahead and name it. I'm going to call it Books to Buy. I'm going to hit enter to create it. Now we can't rename our table yet. Um, we have to wait until the table object is closed. But what we're going to end up with is six tables with eight fields each. Now the fields are identical per table. So you could actually um, make this database with only one table and then put in an, a ninth field for category or genre. Okay, but to tell you the truth, I'd rather have them split up like this. So our first field is the ID. Our second field is going to be the title. And then we have the author. And I'm just hitting enter to tab across here. The website. Okay. Amazon link, because I'm always looking for those used books that only cost maybe a penny or two. Okay, a couple bucks anyway. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> That's how I get a lot of my books, that in the thrift store. Uh, go down here and put notes and ISBN. Okay, so now we have our table created. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click and close the table. Yes, I want to save the changes. Now we can name it. And this is going to be our computer books table. Okay, so to make a copy, I'm going to go over here and right click on the table I just created and click copy. Now I'm going to go up here to the tables line, right click and hit paste. It's going to go up and ask, it's going to open that dialog box and I'm going to call this new table cooking books. I'm going to copy the structure only and hit OK. So I'm going to keep doing that for the other tables and we have it.